Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahabat tifillah from the adab of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which we're all in need of as Muslims so that we know and understand and we can implement it in our lives and come closer to Allah Azza wa Jal with the proper adab that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam illustrated for us. عن ابن عباس رضي الله تعالى عن ابن عباس رضي الله تعالى عنهما قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا أكل أحدكم طعاما فلا يمسه يده حتى يلعقها أو يلعقها متفق عليه The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in the hadith of ابن عباس رضي الله تعالى عنهما he said that if one of you eats food, then do not wipe his hand until he has licked it or someone else, or it has been licked. And this is Mutafakun Ali. This is in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet wasallam, there are immense benefits. And one of the things that we learn from this hadith and that the ulama take from this hadith as a benefit is that it is not impermissible or better yet that it is permissible to eat with a spoon or a fork as well but the best if you want to get the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is to eat with your hand and Ibn Uthaymeen mentioned Rahmatullah uh, some several benefits with regards to this hadith and one of the things he mentioned is that this uh, licking of the hand before you use a napkin or before you wash it or what have you uh, is from the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that for example if you were to eat a dry date or some other item that does not stick to your hand then there is not necessarily the same faida or benefit of licking your hand. Some of the benefits and fawa'id that we learn from this hadith is that of course eating with the hand is better than eating with the uh, with a utensil unless of course it is something which you cannot eat with your hand for example soup or some other uh, type of food which you cannot uh, eat with your hand Ben Othimin with his immense fat he mentioned many benefits and he said and what if a person says he said that what if the food is so hot that a person will burn themselves if they use their hand uh, like they would burn their, their mouth and the sheikh says that no, the mouth is, in essence, can can take more, uh, more pain or more heat than the hand. And he said, for example, you can drink hot chai, you can eat, uh, drink hot coffee, for example, but it would be difficult for you to stick your hand in that hot coffee or that hot tea. Some of the other uh, benefits of this hadith is and this is one of the 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 great benefits that I want to mention <clears throat> before we uh, in this uh, study of this hadith he said that it is from humbleness and humility to eat with a hand because this was the son of the Prophet wasallam, and of course he had the most muru'ah and the most, he was the most uh, tawadah. Another great benefit of this hadith is when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the end of the hadith, he said, salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi yul'ikuha, meaning 
that it is uh, to be licked, letting us know that someone else can lick your hands. And the Sheikh mentioned this, this, this great faida, that between the husband and the wife, that if, for example, the husband were to have the wife, she were to lick his fingers after, uh, in order to clean the hand after eating, then this would also be a type of enjoyment between the husband and wife. Likewise, if the husband were to lick the fingers of the wife after uh, her partaking in her food, then also this would bring about that same enjoyment. So it shows that this is also a connection and a bond and a type of affection between the, uh, the married couple. Another last uh, thing the Sheikh mentioned, he said, of course, in those exceptional cases, in the case of where the person has an injury on their hand, maybe uh, infection or an open sore or something like this, then of course, la darar wa la dirar, as the Prophet ﷺ said, there's no harm and there's no reciprocating harm. So we would uh, remove ourselves from the harmful practice if it was, uh, you know, harmful to lick the fingers, then of course we would uh, avoid that. And we ask of all the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.